We have a guest. We have a great guest. We have a great guest to bring up for a segment we're doing. We're doing a segment. Now, you know, it's, it's Christmas time, and we do this show, you know, for you guys to come in and have a great time, have some laughs, get out of the cold. But we also want to give to you, and we want to give to everybody, but we have to give to, uh, if we're going to give to you, we've got to give to the, the, the trolls. Yeah. That's how, you get, you, the, that's how you get balanced in the world. Yeah, you've got to give to everybody. We and, have to give the critics their say. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a uh, we have a segment that we're gonna do where we're gonna go to Reddit. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be worse for some people than it is for other oh, people. This gets pretty bad. I'm not I have looking to forward assume. to this segment. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I like the way you allow. You're on Reddit, aren't you? This is probably one of your goddamn things. This is gonna be tough now. <laughs> Thankfully, we're not going to have to read these ourselves. No. And the idea is we're going to get uh, each member of the crew is going to come up here and sit down and listen to their mean, terrible things that were said about them on the Internet. They deserve to be heard, too. One time a year, we're going to let them be heard because we never, we never, we, you know, we never read them. So, but we do have a Navy SEAL... Ring three times to tap out. You could ring this, and it's over. You could bail. It's out. If you can't so, take it, it's you how ring much it. can you take? And I gotta be honest with you, I work with Bobby now about nine months, every week, and I will say we're pretty sensitive boys. <laughs> <laughs> we're very. We don't like people not liking us. <laughs> it's bad. This is gonna suck. And our crew is even more sensitive than that. So this should be pretty great. So we can't read these ourselves, everybody. No. So we brought. Uh, we got. To, we had to ha get somebody who would read these and enjoy reading them. <laughs> and we couldn't think of a better person. No, no, that's he's probably writing them. Yeah, he might be behind some of these. No, of course, everybody, it's the fucking hilarious Joe DeRosa. Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Joey Roses. Merry Christmas to the Bonfire family and fans. How are you guys? You're doing all We're right. good. How are you? I mean, I'm all right right now. Uh, you seem happy. Well, you annoy me. <laughs> I mean, your face annoys everybody. <laughs> I don't like how you're up here being like, you know what we like to do here at the Bonfire, folks? Like, you've been here for... I've done this show more times than you have. Yeah. And when it was it, time, to, and it was time to step up, you didn't. <laughs> you went and made a fucking sandwich. Go fuck oh, yourself. Listen, what do you want from me? I threw a hook into an impractical Joker, and I tried to fucking ride that wave. Yeah, it's a good wave. It's a good wave. <laughs> oh Is my god, if Bobby, here, if Bobby could switch places with you right now, he would so hard. <laughs> Bobby and Sal talk fucking tofurkey versus toe no chicken. No way. I would love to fucking. Talk about hookers and porn and the, shit uh, with you. I did gay that, porn. When, yeah. when was the last time I did the last time I did the show was with you when DMC came on. Yeah, yeah. I had, a, I had a, yeah. He had to uh, call me today about his money. The, oh yeah, that's right. Ugh. You know, Bobby didn't pay me till today. Yeah, but he's <laughs> <laughs> from those when two when somebody episodes. fills in, when somebody fills in for somebody, we pay that person. You know, hey, here you go. And it was what a week ago. No, he's been on me like the fucking two weeks. mob. With Vig, there was it was literally there was it was like this much plus one cent. Who does that? I didn't. I didn't total everything up. Christine did. But what what's up with the one cent? I don't know. But it I was like part that of the total. You. I didn't. <laughs> Christine, what's with the one cent? For what the one cent? Do you know how math works, Bob? <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying the one cent. All right, I go great, down. Great. I call, I could I did I called Bobby at 10 a.m. and he goes yeah because yeah. he, he he just knew something was up. No, because you ne whenever Joe calls you before noon, it's bad. It's not a good conversation. You, you, go, you go yeah, and I go yeah. What's up? And you go what do you need, dude? And I go well I don't know. I see on my calendar I'm on my way to the Village Underground tonight to do your show yet another fucking favor and I still haven't gotten my money and he hung up on me and he hung up on me and I swear to God the second it hung up my phone went you have money from Venmo from yeah. Robert Kelly 
fucking <laughs> piece of shit. I mean, what an asshole. And then I called you back to tell you what I really was calling you about, yeah. which was I saw, <laughs> I just bought a house, and uh, thank you. And uh, that's, the, no, 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 that, it's not, it's fine. It's not yeah. paid off. Yeah. It's not, yeah, it, you're, it's you're, two you're hours away in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> I put a down payment on a house. That's really what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, it's stressful, and you're like, fuck, man, I got a responsibility now, whatever. And I went on Instagram today, and I saw Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura talking about how they just bought houses for poor people, and I fucking had a belt around my neck. I was yeah. going to fucking hang myself. Did they really do that? F- huh? They just bought houses for yeah, poor people? They, yeah, and they, they misdirect it. Burt's like... I donated 12 grand towards the, the house for the poor people. And then Tom Segura goes, that was cheap. So what I did was I threw in half the money for the house. And Burke goes, I threw in the other half. We just bought the house. We bought the house for the poor people. Yeah. And I'm like, you fucking cunts. Yeah. You're buying houses for strangers? I know you, you yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. I need help. This cocksucker's harassing his friends for a couple hundred. <laughs> it really stung. <laughs> That they just have throwaway house money? De- <laughs> decent house? I don't know. Uh, probably. Probably. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it was Habitat for Humanity. I don't know. I think it was like a $300,000 house. That's a decent house. Yeah. We should rob them. I would love that. Or let's just go Molotov cocktail the house, bring it to its knees. <laughs> oh, my God. I would love that. Hey, dude, check this out. <laughs> Me and Jay, we got some money together for you this Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We Go paid on. for your house, dude. We bought it off, dude. Yeah, we bought it off. All $3,000. And now we want you to wear a tuxedo all the time and clean the place. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so great. I would do it. I would do it. I went out. I went out of this business. I want you to be like an Alfred. <laughs> happily. I would happily clean a house in a tuxedo. Um, so Joe's going to be reading our mean... <laughs> Social media. Yeah, look how happy. We don't want to say mean tweets because Jimmy Fallon owns it, I think. Yeah. Kimmel. Kimmel. Yeah. Oh, we'll take from him. This is Bonfire presents yeah. Mean Tweets. Who's who? We're gonna go. Uh, what's the order? Who's first up? DJ Lou. DJ Lou. Who's first. Come on up, butter. Come on up. <laughs> DJ Lou. Lou. Remember Lou. Listen, Lou. Oh yeah, Lou here. Lou, you have the bell. Whenever you can't take it, you ring the bell three times. Okay. All right? Let's hop out. <laughs> you um, how many do you have to get through? Lou only has five. What? All right. I skimmed these. I didn't want to read They're them. all written by the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have another Bud Light? Black Lou, play some Spanish music. Um, some people have more than others. DJ Lou only has five, and I only kind of skim these because I wanted to really enjoy them for the first sure. time on stage. Such an evil guy. But I will tell you, some of these are rough. <laughs> uh, not yours? All right, I'll just... Okay, let's start. Okay. All right, number one, DJ Lou. Looks-wise, White Lou is a six, maybe a 6.5 if he got in prime shape. That's not bad. That ain't good, though. Prime it's... shape? You work so hard to become a 6.5? Yeah. It's higher than I would have given him. <laughs> the, uh, DJ Lou, more like... <laughs> I knew DJ Joe was going to love this. DJ... DJ Lou, more like DJ Caboose with that fat ass. <laughs> That's a compliment. I lost 12 pounds. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Lou is the bottom. Stu is the top. And I hear they like it like that. <laughs> nah, come on. Oh, no, there's only two more. Oh. <laughs> Lou's bald head literally looks like a rum ham. I get hungry when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Take the hat off. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, remember the day he almost B 
beat the shit out of us because we yes. kept talking about his ass. <laughs> he did, dude. <laughs> he was so furious. Yeah. We just started complimenting out. his ass. He he was on Shantix or something. <laughs> And he just fucking, he, he said when he went on a commercial break, he was like, I, was, I almost walked out or fought you guys. <laughs> and all we were saying was he has a delicious dumper. This is kind of a long one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> it's painfully obvious that White Lou falls asleep in jeans and a t-shirt every night because he drinks until he passes out on a nightly basis. Every person I've ever known to sleep in their outside clothes has a problem with the sauce. Uh, DJ Lou, everybody, he sat through it. That was good. He made it through all of them. Those are good, right. though. Those weren't too bad. Yeah. They weren't too bad. Jacob is next, though. Okay. And this is where things start to heat up. <laughs> Jacob. Here he comes, everybody. Sweet, sweet Jacob. Now, Jacob may be the most loved character on the bonfire. Not so. online. <laughs> <laughs> I've read some of my shit, and I hate it. I'm so upset in my apartment on my couch. <laughs> do you have your bell? Oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. Uh, Jacob, try to get... Try Try to get through a couple of them. I did not come up with this bit. Yeah, I know. It's not my, this wasn't my idea. I know. <laughs> it's Jimmy Kimmel's idea. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, for a guy that never gets fucked up, Jacob, you sound so much like you're on coke all the time. <laughs> Especially earlier, like, uh, you're so mad. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's tension. <laughs> yeah. It's pure it's rage tension. underneath everything. <laughs> yeah, it's something that he's going to uncork on yeah. Bobby's son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he lets it loose, he turns green and big. <laughs> Look, All right, ready? I was born with this voice. What can I do? Oh, shit, Jacob. You got a two-pager here. <laughs> God damn. Lou at five. You got 12. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Jacob Patat, the most handsome Muppet I've ever seen. <laughs> he that said wasn't, handsome, That though. wasn't terrible. That's not bad. You're handsome. <laughs> but you do look like Kermit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Jacob? Jacob is a super creep. In five years, his picture will be on the news above the words molester. And no one will be surprised. Yeah. You're not fighting my kid anymore. I'm calling it off. I'm calling it off. He, made, he almost made me an accomplice to what he was going to do to your boy. For the longest time, I thought Jacob speaking was actually Christine speaking. That's bad. That's fucking right. bad. That does hurt. That That's hurts. That's tough. That's only three? Wow. That's only three. That, that is an A-plus roast joke. <laughs> Jacob looks good at... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jacob looks a good 30 years older than I pictured him being. Give up on the hair, dude. Oh. That sucks. Oh. Oh. Fuck these people. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the fight. Bottle this. Use this in Vegas. <laughs> when I first started listening to the bonfire four years ago, I had no context of anyone on the show outside of Jay and Dan. I thought Jacob was a strange woman. <laughs> mm. What the fuck? Right. I gotta be honest. For the first couple of weeks, I did too. Hold on. This is my favorite. This was my favorite. It's so blunt. Started listening about two years ago. Though Jacob has some moments, overall, the dude sucks. Ah, shit. No. Don't do it, Jacob. You got this. Jacob. No, 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 no. Jacob. No, 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 no. No. You got this. No. You got this. You can't. You got it. One more. One more. You can make it. They could replace Jacob with Mateo Lane and no one would notice. That's not bad. He's jacked. He's, He's jacked, Jacob. He's jacked. Hang in there. He's jacked. I don't think that's what they meant, though. No, yeah. it is. So he's very, he's very talented. Your little muscular, He's very talented. Your little muscular body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> Why does Jacob always sound like he's a click away from crying? 
<laughs> He's got a wet, claggy, soppy speaking voice. It's really infuriating. <laughs> yeah, this might be my favorite bit ever. This is great. I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> One click. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Jacob looks like a make a wish kid that finally got his wish granted. They actually wrote this pause in parentheses because he's going to die soon. <laughs> oh! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! no. Oh no we got three I more. I get to leave now. <laughs> We the got whole, three more. The bit is, the bit is yeah. I ring hey. it and we're done. Hey, huh? listen. <laughs> okay. Joe, keep the bell in your, in your crotch, so if you got, they want to grab it, they have to grab your crotch. Okay. No problem. How bad do you want it? <laughs> How bad do you want it? This next one's actually probably not bad. Yeah. Jacob is really busting the stereotypes. Shilling your family company to grift for money is disgusting. <laughs> hey, Jake, can't pay... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's right. It's the name of the company. Not campaign. the family business. Yep. All right. <laughs> campaign. He said it tastes like asparagus piss. What, is that? <laughs> what the fuck is campaign? It's delicious. It's his Jacob's brother's family's company. It's family's company. It's just our, our, our it's, life's it's business. It's canned rosé. You should carry your Joey Roses. Okay. It's great. Yeah. Wow. Let's do it. Yeah. I would, uh, if you like a, drinking asparagus. <laughs> it'll pair well with a hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll pair well with a hoagie, dude. It's fucking sparkling red wine. All right. Jacob has become an old Jewish lady unwilling to go with a bit. He deserves his misery since he creates it. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Mother fuck. <laughs> Jacob, you all right? Jacob, you all right? You really don't want to touch Joe's dick, They mean it huh? from the... They mean it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we were standing back there? Yeah. And you said, did you read them? And I said, I didn't read all of them. I read some of them. But man, there's one about you that's real bad. And you said, oh, it's about how I sound gay? And I go, no, 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 it's like real. <laughs> this is it. Final one, though. Yeah, yeah final one. Oh, you really are the Grinch, DeRosa. <laughs> I love it. I do love it. You have the same body as the Grinch, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Joe. All right. <laughs> Jacob is terrible. His phony laugh and wannabe tough guy persona is annoying. It sounds like he's in love with himself. And I wish him and Bobby found something else to do with their lives. <laughs> that's, that's actually from Max. <laughs> I love, I love that they dragged you in at the last minute. Shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you love it. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. You didn't have to read that one. <laughs> They're going in hard on him and then you just threw you into the fucking mix. <laughs> In fact, you and Bobby go fucking <laughs> shove your thumb up your ass. Oh, Jacob, give it up for Jacob, everybody. That was... <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Okay, who do we have next? Christine. Christine, get up here. Most uh, of these were texted to Joe by me. The crowd knows something we don't. Yeah. No, she's just a girl, so everyone feels bad. Is. Christine, everybody. Give it up for Christine. Come Evans. on. Evans! All right. You, you look girl, beautiful. You got this. You do look beautiful. Aww. You got this. Why did you see it all crazy? Like I've never said that. I mean... I don't say it much, but I mean, it happens. Are you ready? I've listened to the show for seven years, despite Christine. <laughs> They're listening. <laughs> Mine are going to be so bad. <laughs> They're getting worse as they go. In the past, I have literally never turned the show off, but I cannot fucking stand waiting for her stupid voice to bring the show to a screeching halt to give the dumbest opinion I've ever heard about anything. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, shut up. <laughs> that guy probably gets God. laid a lot. <laughs> Jay's applauding. <laughs> Jay agrees. <laughs> All right. <laughs> shut up, Christine, is the best quote since Shut Up, Meg, from Family Guy. <laughs> Jesus. Christine, I'm just sort of skimming ahead. These, these do not get better. <laughs> Woo. 
Hey, Christine, shut up, you Nazi dick sucking comedy groupie. <laughs> it was one time. Oh it was one time. It was once. Her friend was fucking a Nazi, so she had to keep the other guy company. I'm not what, sure. What, you not suck his dick? <laughs> I'm not sure how you want to take this one. Christine is the female Louis J. Gomez. Oh. Jay says that, that might all the time. Be, that might have been by me. <laughs> I tell it to her face weekly. Yeah. It's a good partner. I'd love to know what the going rate for an XS... Fuck, sorry. Let me start again. I'd love to know what the going rate for a Series XM producer whose resume reads girlfriend of host and great Googler. <laughs> and what? Googler. Like you Google. Oh, great Googler. That's uh, pretty good. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never wanted a woman to be hit until I heard Christine on the show. <laughs> man Ooh. up, Jay. <laughs> yeah, Jay. <laughs> to be a man. No. I'm talking. I'm going to have Max fight Christine at Skankfest Vegas. God, I'm crying. He would love that. <laughs> Max would love to fight you. He would love to fight me. Christine overexerts every word and can't speak in full sentences. She sucks on the show and isn't entertaining. Please stay behind the curtain. You're terrible. <laughs> she's, she's ringing the bell. That's cool. Would Christine... <laughs> Joe, Joe. <laughs> Leave me alone. This is my Christmas. Would Christine... Joe's heart is getting smaller and smaller. No, it's growing. Oh, it's, it's working. This is working. It's working. <laughs> Would Christine have been hired at Sirius if she wasn't Jay's girlfriend? Quick answer, no. She slurped her way from waitress to third string producer. Oh, my Lord. Oh, shit. All right. Ready? <laughs> Would you say it's awful? Yeah, that's the point, asshole. What, do you want to read nice things? Oh, this is a good one. Life can't be a jerk-off party, Melissa. <laughs> hey, Melissa, go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, ready? Christine rocks for someone with Down syndrome. Okay. She does. If she had Down syndrome, she would rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, <laughs> This was my favorite. This was my favorite. This is the last one. This is the last one. Ready? Jay and Christine will do anything to lose weight except eat less and exercise. <laughs> Christine, everybody, give it up. Give it up for the producer, Christine. Show some love. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> This is not a good idea. Jay, or Bobby, this is not good for you. Jay, yeah. Jay is next. I'm, I'm last. You're after Jay. I don't want to do this. <laughs> wow. I, I don't think I'd I'd I got last. it. I, oh, wait, give me the bell. <laughs> right I'll get it. I'll get it. It's oh, right shit. here. You got it? All right. Jay, right out of the gate, this guy comes with a banger. Jay, you guys suck shit now. Fuck your crackle. <laughs> what? I'm in that one too. Holy shot to the heart, dude. What do you say? <laughs> fuck your crowd. Fuck work? your crackle. Oh, fuck your crackle. Every year, Jay refuses to lose the '90s rocker look. He always looked like he crawled out of a 2004 time capsule. That doesn't make sense. It's really weird that Jay isn't a juggalo dress, dressing and acting like he does. I, it's like he missed his calling. Come on, guys. Come on. That's, that's, not, that's not that good. <laughs> Quit explaining every moment of the video before we listen to it. <laughs> Ten <laughs> seconds at a time, we Jay. We got yelled at! For fuck's sake. I, I can relate to that one. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> this what? is perfect. Fuck you, DeRosa. Jay looks like a 15-year-old who punches drywall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is incredible. That is incredible. Let me make my own decisions. <laughs> All right. Jay... <laughs> Jay comes off really bad in most episodes. He's sensitive, he's out of touch, and he's a boomer. 
If Jay thinks being on Dinosaur Radio is a win, let him. Same way you'd let your grandparents think they've won an argument. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. These are getting too real. <laughs> Was it? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that guy really nailed it. He did? Uh, the drywall guy did. All right. Big J. Okerson only applies hair gel once a week after he showers. The rest of the week, he just applies water to reharden the gel into a spiky hair helmet shape. Can I, can I comment on that one? Yes. <laughs> it's not true. I wash my hair every day. But if I had to go on a morning thing before my shower, I would just wet my hands and restyle the old crook and gel from yesterday. So I can't be that mad at that. <laughs> this is a good one. Ready? Mm-hmm. It's 2023, and Jay is still dying for black people's love. <laughs> hey, dot, dot, dot. They don't like you, Jay. They do, though. <laughs> they do. As, as one black guy. <laughs> as two. Oh, look, this one. Uh, Bonfire could be one of the best radio shows ever if only Jay were capable of hearing and learning from the slightest bit of constructive criticism, but he can't. For a hard personality, he's just an insecure, spoiled Jew child. I don't like it. Make it different. Jay made a show out of two lousy Howard's... Fuck. Stop that bell, it's distracting me. Jay, <laughs> You're supposed to stop me, asshole. Shh. Jay made a show out of two lazy Howard Stern show staples, watching videos and shitting on the staff for content. Great work. And last but not least, I've seen Josh Adam Myers open up for Big J. He was better. <laughs> wow. That's bullshit. That's bull. That's crazy. <laughs> Josh Adamayers! <laughs> Josh, Josh Adamayers in the front row with a gray beard! He was better. <laughs> hey, Josh, oh, Josh, can you sit in for me for this bit? All right. I we listen. gotta we gotta move here. I think we're I think this I, is taking yeah, too yeah, long. Yeah, we gotta go. All right. Can we we'll just then we'll skip this part. No, no. No, no, no. No, we should get we to gotta it. listen, guys. We love you. We gotta move on. We got a whole new no, thing. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Let's just good. not do this. Oh my god. This isn't Wow! Well, I just read number one, baby. <laughs> I just read number one. Yo. Bobby does not like this. I'm, out. We go. I'm better at this. This <laughs> this line deserves pyrotechnics. <laughs> like a kiss concert? Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Jay, hold me. <laughs> Ready? Um, yeah, go. Bobby had to lose weight so his friends could carry his comedy career. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. That was sharp as a knife. That was really concise. That was airtight. No, that was airtight. That was like a Stephen Wright joke. That was <laughs> no fat on that fucking thing. Holy shit. <laughs> that, was, that was almost brilliant. That was brilliant. Holy shit. Eddie? Wait Eddie? a minute. How many pages do you have? Uh, you've, you've, got a, you've got a substantial amount here. We won't do all of them. We won't do all of them. Bobby has turned into a gay villain from a James Bond movie from the 60s. I'll take that. Oh, my God. Black Lou highlighted this next one. <laughs> he did. I see it's the It's the only one he highlighted. What the fuck, Black Lou? And I like this. Ready? DeRosa should have been the one to replace Dan. <laughs> At this point, I'd even take Fiona. Or Fenoya. Oh, fuck. Fenoya. You said it wrong. <laughs> ah, you fucked it up. Uh -huh. God damn it. No, I said my part right. <laughs> What do I give a fuck if I got that other bald fatty's name wrong? He's <laughs> <laughs> got a dumb name. <laughs> well, what was I thinking? Uh, all right, it says, comments from Instagram live feed when don't, Dan Soto was in. Hey, Bobby, would you mind leaving the room so we hear something funny? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, they got to... Wait, wait, there's dot, dot, dot. 
would you mind going to the bathroom so the comedians can make us laugh? <laughs> These aren't good. Oh, Jesus, dude. Bobby Kelly looks like someone's mom going through chemotherapy, and she's in good spirits in spite of it. I, I kind of like that one. I, that's not no, a bad dude, You're one. living with it. You're not dying from uh, it. I ring the bell and cheer on that one. There's so many more. <laughs> There's a lot. Shut the fuck up and just read some. Bobby has eight podcasts, and he sucks on all of them. <laughs> I do have a lot of <laughs> I do have a lot of podcasts. Oh my god. I don't like the joy you're getting, fucking DeRosa. <laughs> Everyone stop being mean to Bobby. What did you expect from Dane Cook's butt dog? <laughs> oh, that fucking nickname's gonna stick, isn't it? Ah, uh, goddamn Shane, he got you. <laughs> oh my god. How many more? Is this... I'll just do two more. All caps. Don't forget Bobby is a molester. What? Bobby admitted to molesting a mentally handicapped child when he was younger and harassed Sam Roberts almost to the point of molestation when he was a young intern at Opie and Anthony. I pray Jay catches him during a pedo hunt one day. <laughs> I, not with Sam anymore. <laughs> Sam is gross. He's now. okay, yeah. He's of age. <laughs> Within two minutes of every opening riff of the show, Bobby, Max has pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, we got to move on. <laughs> that was that was my favorite one. No, you can read another. I got it. The last one. Would you just give him a new one? <laughs> the fuck was that? Weird whisper. Yeah, Bobby Don't sucks. Worry about just it. tell him I say that. <laughs> he, you know what he yeah. whispered? He goes, thanks for slipping in that one about Max. <laughs> All right, last one. Ready? Bobby is an old man who doesn't fuck his wife, <laughs> and all he has is a tiny house and a kid. He literally has nothing else to talk about on his own radio show. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, these are just facts. <laughs> Folks, that is Mean Reddit. Wow. We'll That's Mean, mean Reddit. Reddit. Mary... Merry Christmas, you fucking pieces of shit. <laughs>